pre-filled syringe or auto injecting pen? Which one is better? Hey guys, I'm Dee. I am a nurse, patient, and student who does weekly videos every Thursday at noon. So if that's something that's interesting to you, be sure to hit the little subscribe button and hit the little bell so you don't miss any of my videos. So today I wanted to talk about pre-filled syringes versus auto injector pens. If you end up getting to a point where your doctor starts having the Humira conversation or Embril, Orencia, Stellara, Symphony, you have a choice between the pre-filled syringe or the pen. I wanted to go over the pros and cons of each so you can determine which one is right for you. Let's start out with the pre-filled syringes. I'm gonna call it PFS for short. Pre-filled syringes is basically like a typical needle, you know, that you're used to seeing. The medication is just already in there. You just give yourself the shot, okay? So the pros to a pre-filled syringe is you can control the speed of the injection and the angle. So you can control how fast or how slow you give yourself the shot or someone else gives the shot to you. And for some people, that's what they prefer. They have to be able to control the speed of it and that helps them get through their anxiety. Not everyone's like that, but it's a pro for some people. Another pro is that the administration is simple. Like there's nothing complicated about uh, you know giving yourself a needle shot in the syringe when it's just a pre-filled syringe because we've all seen it before. You don't always want to, but you know how. And the third pro with the pre-filled syringe, not a pro for me, but a pro for some people is that you can see the needle. Some people, when they get shots, they have to see the person give it or they tense up and they're even more anxious. Other people, the complete opposite. I can't see that or I will freak out. Con is that because the needle is out, just like out in the open, even though it's covered with a cap initially and a lot of them do have a safety, it's a lot easier for kids or pets to access it and accidentally poke themselves. Now, obviously you wanna keep it in a place that is away from children and away from pets, but it is something you have to be careful about because it's a lot easier for kids or pets to poke themselves with those on accident because the needle's just out in the open once you're ready to. So that's the pros and the cons for the pre-filled syringe. Let's move on to the self-injectable pen. Biggest pro for a pen is you don't see the needle outright. The needle is covered up. So let me show you an example. I have a Humira pen. This here is a Humira pen. I don't know if you guys can see it that well, but you see how like they have caps on the top and the bottom and this part is where, you see how you don't see the needle, you know? And the way they have these pins set up is you can press it against your skin. This is a safety lock, because this is actually one that I used earlier this week. But you could press against your skin and you're not feeling the needle. The needle does not poke you until you hit the button up here. I like that because there's nothing worse than accidentally st sticking yourself and then you freak out because you actually stuck yourself but you didn't stick yourself deep enough to give the medication and then you're just needle anxiety. But technically if you want to go and look all the way in here like this you technically could but I don't recommend that with needle anxiety. That's a big plus. But as you can also see, it's not necessarily intuitive where you look at it and be like, yeah, that's how you get it. I would have, I had to watch a video on how to do this first. And then I was a nurse in rheumatology. So uh, RNs are able to teach. So I actually had to learn how to do this so I could learn how to teach people to give themselves their Humira shots, methyltrexate shots, Orencia shots. Because of how that's set up, like I said, it's very hard to repoke yourself. Once that button is pressed, 
there's no retract or anything. Once that button is pressed, you get the medication or you don't. You can't like redo it. You know, there's no like resetting these. And as you can see, because of this, it's a lot harder for pets and kids to get poked with it because of that little inner casing that's protecting it, which is awesome. And another perk I think is you get the medication with a click of the button. So I don't have to worry about Oh, I, did, did. I don't have to worry about that hesitancy. Like you don't have to hold the button down for it to be given. You just press it and bam, that's it. Those are the pros for the pen. The cons are for some people, you can't see the needle. You can't control the speed of the injection. Once you press the button, it goes in how it goes. These pens, when you press the button, have a very loud click sound when you press it. So you know for sure that you press that button. But the thing is, you're not always expecting it, so sometimes it can scare you. And they don't always look very intuitive. Some pens, depending on the medication, are not user friendly, and they are not intuitive, and they look and are kind of complicated to use. Luckily, Humira is not one of those, and Humira is one of the most common ones that most of us with autoimmune arthritis start out with. But some of the other ones, like Embril, is the most complex pen. Like, I have, I never remember how to use it. And that about wraps this up. So, just to recap, the pre-filled syringe is more for the person who needs to see the needle and needs to control, like, the speed of them giving themselves the medication. The pen is for the person who has needle anxiety, cannot see the needle, and would like to just press a button, one and done. So I hope this video was helpful. There's no real difference between the two as far as pricing goes or insurance preferring one over another. They're very even. There's no difference in the dosing. You would get the, you know what I'm saying? The dose would be the same for you, whether you did pre-filled or not. The absorption is the same because you're still giving it the same way. It's just a preference of whether or not you want to give it yourself with your arm or if you want to just give it with the press of a button. If you did, please share it with someone else. And with that, I will see you on the next video. Bye.